Good morning everyone, how are you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Look at this frosty, frosty ground. Beautiful, beautiful. It's cold today. Uh, we are in um, Twickenham, Ooh, Twickenham Cemetery. Um, the moon is out, I don't know if you can see it, it looks absolutely stunning, but I, I don't know if you can see it through the trees, sort of over that way. No, I don't think you can see it, I'm sure you'll see it at some point. Anyway, I'm sure you've seen a moon before, haven't you? Um, <laughs> I'm here today to find the final resting place of Fast Eddie, Eddie Clark. Um, of course, guitarist with the band Motorhead. Um, if you're a massive fan of Motorhead, I have been to see um, Filthy Phil Taylor, his grave. So his video is on, on the channel. Uh, an amazing drummer, of course, but today we're here to see this amazing guitarist. Um, Fast Eddie, and we'll talk all about him. I'll tell you all about him very soon. Uh, don't forget, if you like the video today, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, it is free, you don't have to pay for that. And if you're a subscriber already, um, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you get notified when we have more videos come out. Um, and leave your comments down below as well. It's really important. I like to read your comments, especially if you're a fan of the group or if you're a fan of Fast Eddie himself as a guitarist. I love reading what, what you guys write because uh, it amazes me when you've been to see these gigs and you say how good they were and so forth. So that's pretty cool as well. I've got to thank a few people. I've got to thank you first, the viewer. Thank you very much. You know, you sit there at home. Yeah, I see you. Uh, thanks very much for watching. Uh, thank you to all the people that subscribe. Thank you to all the members. I uh, really appreciate that. It's very kind of you. And massively thank you to all of those of you that donate towards the channel. It really does help with the fuel costs and so forth. So thank you once again to everyone. I really do appreciate your time uh, for watching and of course your time and your um, help in terms of enabling me to, to do these videos for you. Right, uh, let's get on with it, shall we? I'll tell you a little bit more about Fast Eddie. It's cold. Edward Allen Clark, 5th of October 1950 to the 10th of January 2018, better known as Fast Eddie Clark, or simply Fast, was a British guitarist who was a member of heavy metal bands Fast Away and Motorhead. Of Motorhead's classic lineup, which consisted of Lemmy and Phil Filthy Animal Taylor. He was the last surviving member at the time of his death. Clark began playing guitar, and by the time he was 15 years old, had been through many local bands one of which was called The Bitter End. Clark said, I didn't get the name Fast Eddie because of any sex thing, and it wasn't even because I could play fast. It was just that I could play one note in a solo really fast, referring to his skillful tremolo picking. He continued playing local gigs until 1973, when he turned professional by joining Curtis Knight's blue prog rock band, Zeus, as lead guitarist. In 1974, the band recorded an album called The Second Coming at Olympic Studios. <clears throat> Clark wrote the music to Knight's lyrics on a track entitled The Confession. Clark recorded the album Sea of Time with Zeus later with guitarist friend Alan Callan, keyboard player Nicky Hogarth and drummer Chris Perry. Clark attended a recorded jam session at Command Studios in Piccadilly. As a result of the tracks from this session, the quartet secured a deal with Anchor Records and called the band Blue Goose. With a recording contract secured, Clark, Hogarth and Perry left Zeus to focus on their own project called Callan. Clark was working on refitting a houseboat when he met drummer Phil Taylor, who had recently joined Motorhead. However, according to Kimister's authorised biography, it appears that Clark was introduced to Lemmy by a receptionist at the rehearsal studio. Gertie, who was romantically involved with Clark at the time, not long after he was playing with them. In the early days, Eddie rehearsed with Motorhead before going on the road at Snobs Rehearsal Studios, part of a converted brewery at the corner of Kings Road and Lots Road, Chelsea, known as Furniture Cave. Motorhead's popularity increased along with their UK chart successes. The threesome, Lemmy, Clark and Taylor are considered the classic Motorhead lineup and have the Motorhead Overkill, Ace of Spades, Bomber, No Sleep Till Hammersmith and Iron Fist albums, plus a string of hit singles to their credit. As well as playing guitar and singing back and vocals, he performed lead vocal on a small number of Motorhead songs. Examples are Beer Drinkers and How Razors, on which he traded vocals with Lemmy, I'm Your Witch Doctor, on which he duets with Lemmy, Step Down and Emergency, 
One of the B-side tracks at the St Valentine's Massacre EP upon which they performed Please Don't Touch with Girl School under the combined band names of Head Girl, he claimed to hate singing lead. Clark left Motorhead in 1982 whilst on the tour of the United States, becoming unhappy that the results of the Iron Fist album, the recording session with the Plasmatics were the final straw for the B-side of the Stand By Your Man EP. The bands took turns in covering each other's songs. Clark allegedly felt that this compromised the band's principles and resigned. According to Joel McKeever, Clark himself later denied this version of events and had said Filthy, Phil, was the main instigator in my being excluded from the band. Notice, I do not call it leaving as, I was not, as it was not my choice. I had imagined dying on stage with Motorhead, so it was a blow when they didn't want me in the band any longer. Clark was replaced by former Finn Lizzy and Wild Horses lead guitarist Brian Robertson after Anvil frontman Steve Lips Cudlow turned down the offer to play with Motorhead. Clark's last gig with Motorhead took place at the New York Palladium on the 14th of May 1982. Another cameo from Clark on a later Motorhead album was 2000's Live at Brixton Academy, released in 2003, on which the band featured many guest appearances from other guitarists of which he was one. Playing on the songs No Class, The Chase is Better Than The Catch and Overkill. After the band split up again, Clark moved back to London and met up with Leah Hart, a solo artist in the Far East. Clark's record deals had now expired, so the pair took a demo tape to Douglas Smith, Clark's former Motorhead manager at GWR Records, who willingly signed a deal still using the name Fast Away. They recorded the On Target album. Clark's group now consisted of Riff Raff on drums, keyboards and bass, plus assorted friends helping out. Following the production of two albums, Clark and Hart split up. Clark died on the 10th of January 2018, aged 67, in a hospital where he was being treated for pneumonia. So there's all the information there on Eddie Clark. Fast Eddie, fast, whatever you want to call him. Um, very accomplished musician, amazing guitarist, and uh, yeah, with one of the greatest rock bands of all time. God, my eyes are leaking. <laughs> it's so cold. I'm gonna get stuck to a tree. That's right. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be a dog and pee against a tree. I'm not gonna do any. You know what I mean? That it's cold. Anyway, let's have a little look, shall we, for uh, Fast Eddie's final resting place. I think I found it. I've just got to show you this first, everyone, because this is amazing. Look, someone's put a Christmas tree up in the middle of the cemetery. Wow. I've never seen anything like that before, ever. That is amazing. especially on a frosty morning. Looks absolutely stunning, doesn't it? Edward Allen Clark, 5th of October 1950 to the 10th of January 2018, beloved son of Allen and Marjorie, Fast Eddie, born to rock, uncompromisingly unique, loved and remembered forever in our hearts, Mariko and Cookie. Wow, look at that, what a beautiful headstone. There we had the final resting place of Fast Eddie, Edward Clark. Thank you, my friend, for bringing us some amazing rock music over the years. What a guy, and look at that guitar there. There you go. Thank you, bless you. Wow. 
what an amazing headstone. And um, so again, you know, he wasn't very old really, was he? 68? Yeah, not very old at all, 68. And of course, he was the last surviving member of um, the ultimate lineup, shall we say, of Motorhead. It's a shame, isn't it, when uh, these legends start to slowly disappear. <laughs> Anyway, thanks as always, guys, from a frosty but lovely um, Twickenham Cemetery on this cold December morning. Don't forget to leave your comments down below, won't you? Let me know uh, if you saw them live, uh, if you ever met him, um, you know, and what your experiences are. If you just still listen to their music or anything like that, uh, please leave a comment down below and uh, hit the old thumbs up and subscribe if you like it, all that sort of stuff. And I will see you all on the next one. Take it easy. Bye.